Hello, my lovely Geminis. This is Devs and this is your reading for September 2021. Gem, lovely energy coming through for you. Um, you've got a choice. You've got a choice. Um, I saw a number two weighing up the pros and cons. I didn't get third party energy. So for those of you dealing in that type of situation or with that type of situation, this is possibly not your reading. I think, Gemini, you are choosing between two people or you're making a choice as to whether or not you want to take a connection further, deeper. Do you want to spend more time with this person? Do you want to really make an effort to see them as much as possible to get to know them? Um, maybe much better than you have done already. So, Gemini, on that note, let's just delve in and see what comes through in the cards, okay? Here we go. All right. Archangel Michael, thank you for being here in this reading for my Geminis. What does Gemini need to know, please, Michael, for this period of time, for the month of September? I can feel him on my left. Yes, he's in prayer. Yeah. He's talking about Mother Gaia. Okay. He's talking about Mother Gaia. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. He's showing me. He's showing me fire. He's showing me something erased to the ground, burnt to a cinder. But I'm actually hearing applause. Gemini, for some of you, you've ended a situation that was, Michael's telling me the ground was full of weeds, it needed clearing, fire sweeping through, it needed clearing. Now, guys, I'm sorry, I don't know if this is insensitive, this energy, I know in California there have been issues, so do forgive me, um, but I am actually hearing raised to the ground, but M Michael seems to be suggesting that this is a situation that was just full of weeds, tangled branches, issues. I'm hearing um, um, toxic energies. Something just needed to be completely wiped out, Gemini. And I think you have been through the fire. I'm also hearing cleansed of, cleansed of your sins. Oh my goodness. Okay, Gem. You've gone through some kind of rebirth. Yeah, Phoenix. I'm seeing um, an image of a phoenix rising from the flames. You've erased something to the ground. You've got rid of anyone I'm hearing hanging on to you. I'm seeing someone climbing out of a pit towards the sunshine and there are people below trying to hang on to them, trying to pull them down. Oh my goodness. Okay, Jan. Yeah, so you've, you've got yourself out of something that held you down, held you back, toxic people, people keeping you stuck, hanging on to you. You've broken free. I'm hearing clean sweep, clean sweep. You've broken free. And now you have a decision to make, okay? My goodness. For some of you, you could have gone out of a really awful company, <laughs> you know? That you've been in for a long time and you're starting afresh this is a you know brand new life let's see michael saying archangel uriel is also with us archangel shamuel archangel asriel archangel haniel thank you michael okay yeah clean sweep the rays to the ground and i'm hearing cheering i mean i'm i'm hearing like a stadium cheering so you got yourself out of something gemini and you may feel quite proud of yourself. You could feel very tired right now, very drained, kind of, wow. Whew, I can see someone wiping their brow. My goodness, that was tough. But you're out. You're home free. Or you shortly will be, okay? Yes, weighing up the pros and cons. You've got a decision to make. Now, it could be, you know, if you've ended a relationship, you're thinking, well, should I just, you know, move? I don't want to be seeing my ex every day. It's that type of energy. For some of you... You're weighing out the pros and cons of getting to know someone that you've got on your mind a bit deeper. You know, shall we really kind of get this going now? Okay. Gemini. Oh, my loves. Come out of your head, Gem. Get out of your head. Don't. 
don't sit in your head too long because you've got an, I'm hearing you've got an open road in front of you. It's all clear from now on. It may be symbolically the energy of you being stuck for so long. It's almost as if, okay, I can see a little child opening his front door, looking out onto a street and getting really stressed and closing it again. Almost like, no, I feel safer in the house. I know there's no one on the street. I know no one's going to hurt me. No one's going to hurt me, but I, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave the house. I'm hearing agoraphobia. OK. I just I, I can't. I can't. There is a word for it. I could be connected with somebody who has an issue with getting out of the house. I can't remember the term. You guys will probably know and put it in the comments. Yeah. So, Gem, you're home free, but there's a fear of moving forward. It's almost as if, am I really free? Am I um, is someone going to pull me back again? Um, there's a nervous energy coming from you, Gem. For some of you, you've been in something incredibly difficult, almost to the point where it's completely erased your self-confidence, your self-esteem, rattled you to the point where you're just a bit of a nervous wreck. You may be putting on a brave face, Gemini, but inside something's really stressed you out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my stomach's doing flips. There's something here that was really stressful. You could have lost a lot of money. You could have had a delay in money coming in in the past, so you couldn't take action. For others of you, you were dealing with a fire sign, a fire sign, an earth sign, or specifically a Cancerian, who was just hanging onto your coattails, not letting you go. And it's almost as if you can't believe you're free of it. Oh my goodness, can I now, you know, step out of the house without being handcuffed and taken back? Something about that. Yeah. Okay. Gem, you need to give yourself time. This is not going to be something that you're going to be able to be be able to manage in a couple of days what you've been through has changed you and you need to not only be aware of that but accept it learn from the lessons learn from the experience and just give yourself time it's almost as if you're so excited, although so nervous that you've now got your freedom. It's kind of, oh, OK, I've got to make the most of this. I've got to move now towards something else. I've got to kind of keep moving, keep moving. Gemini, you're free. There's no rush. There's no pressure anymore. There's no one hanging on to you. There's no one getting at you. There's no one wanting something from you. You're home free. I don't know why it's coming through really strongly. You're okay. You're all right. Take a deep breath. Take some time for you. There's no rush. You need to heal. You're not totally over the past. Whatever this was, you're not totally over it. Whatever held you back also pushed you into a lot of shadow energy. OK, so maybe if you were in a tight situation, you may be moved into. Again, I'm hearing shadow energy in order to have some kind of fulfillment in your life, however that resonates. And this is you not wanting to go back to that shadow. Never want I'm hearing I never want to go back there again, ever. It's almost as if you're running so fast in the opposite direction. You haven't looked back to realize nobody's chasing you. Nobody's running after you. Again, I'm hearing you're home free. It's OK. You're out of whatever this was. You need to heal, though. Because it's almost as if, you know, you're looking back thinking, oh, God, you know, is, is someone going to be running after me? Am I, am I going to have to deal with this problem or that problem again or this person ringing me or this person keeping me trapped? No. But you're expecting, 
I'm hearing repercussions. You're home free. Okay, I'm going to stop saying that, but it keeps coming through. Yeah. You've got someone in your environment, Gemini, who has helped you, who is going to help you. This is someone very strong, very stable. This could be you finding an amazing job and your boss is absolutely on the same page as you. This could even be a father figure who helped you through this time. Gemini, you're fine. Oh, wow. Emperor and the Empress. Beautiful. Gemini, for some of you, you know that you are connected to somebody at soul level and you've got yourself out of something to move towards someone else who could be a past life connection. I'm hearing someone you feel safe with. Very interesting. Someone you feel calm with. Somebody that allows you to breathe and be yourself. Now, if you've met someone like that, that's a very special connection. That's not to be undervalued or underestimated. Okay. Yeah, it's over, Gem. This could be the finalization of a divorce. It could be the sale of a property. It's done. But it's almost as if you can't believe it. No, uh, no, there's going to be something that is going to come up. There's going to be a hitch. There's going to be a loophole. They're going to pull me back in. They're not, Gemini. They're not. I think they tried to for a long time to keep you stuck. I, I think they've given up. I'm almost getting the energy of you fighting your shadow. This could be all symbolic. Could be all a metaphor, right? Yeah. 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 You were super stressed about this. This is a partnership that went under, Gemini. There was once a lot of happiness, a lot of togetherness, a lot of passion, a lot of connection. It became toxic. It became claustrophobic. It became very unfulfilling. And you had to get out. It's almost as if you didn't have a choice because you were not feeling yourself anymore. You lost your confidence. I'm hearing a bag of nerves. You were constantly wondering, OK, if I do this, are they going to shout at me? If I do that, am I going to get repercussions? You just didn't know what to do. You turned into a mouse. You're not a mouse, Jam. You're an eagle. I'm hearing an eagle. You need to fly high. You need to spread your wings. You need to see the much bigger picture. You're seeing it now. But you still think you're a mouse. <laughs> Some of you are laughing. Yeah. No, I'm hearing prey. You're not prey anymore, Gemini. You're the eagle. You are the predator. You always were. You just didn't see it because you were bashed down by something, someone, a group of people, a situation that you could not get out of, that drained you of your life force, of your energy, of your optimism, of your love of life. No more. My goodness, this is a heavy reading. Sorry, guys. It's what I'm feeling. And I want to take a deep breath now. My goodness. You know you're connected to somebody at soul level. You could be thinking of a Scorpio, a Virgo, a Pisces, a Taurus, a Libra, a Cancerian at this time. We have Aries here too. You know, Gemini, that you are now fully equipped with the energy of the magician, 
to take control of your life. And I'm hearing simply to be happy. Simply to be, I just want to be happy. I'm hearing, I don't want any arguments. I don't want drama. I don't want other people telling me how to live my life. I don't want to feel controlled in any way. I just want to be happy. Oh, Jam, you're making me emotional. Temperance, look at that. Angel of healing, angel of balance. This is divinely guided, Gemini. For some of you, there was a Sagittarius in the mix. You had to release. You lost faith. You may even have lost faith in yourself as a person. You could have let go of a Taurus and you're just healing. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You're not wanting to do anything risky. Okay. You're still kind of in that house. You've got all the windows locked, all the doors locked. You, you know, don't come anywhere near me. I'm healing. I'm sorting myself out. I'm balancing my energies. I don't want to see anyone right now. There's almost, though, the internal desperate need to suddenly take action. But, but, but I want to move forward. I want to do this. I want to connect with that person. I, I, I just want to keep moving forward. Gemini, just sit still for a few weeks. Just sit still. Nobody's going to hurt you. Nobody's going to try and control you. Nobody's going to try and make you do something you don't want to do. Just sit tight. You're not quite ready. You're still in your head. You haven't really healed from what happened in the past. It's not the right time to move. There is still, I'm actually hearing... One more door you need to close. You need to close one more door. It's a small door. It's easy to do. This could be signing on a piece of paper. Okay, then it's really done. It could be having a conversation with somebody. There's one more small door you need to close. And then you know it's really done. Feeling very emotional this reading, Jan. So let's move through the energies relatively swiftly because I have been talking for a long time. <laughs> All right, Jan, with you. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Moving the camera. I'm with you in spirit, guys. You're fine, okay? Don't you worry. You've got the angels right behind you. So, Eight of Swords. You think you are still trapped, Jan. You are not if you have the courage to take that blindfold off, you'll realise these chains around your wrists are loose. You can shake them off. You can step through those swords. It's an illusion that you're still trapped. You think you still are. Because I think you've been in bondage emotionally for so long. It's almost as if you can't believe that you're free. And of course... Even though you still think you're trapped and stuck and there's fear, your instinct is the chariot in reverse. Okay, blocks are removed. I am getting out of Dodge as quickly as possible. I'm moving. I'm relocating. I'm changing my number. I'm deleting these emails. I'm getting off of social media. I don't want anything to do with that anymore. But you're not quite ready, Gemini. You're not quite ready. There's almost a powerful shift you feel from the divine. Just go. And you've gone, but it's almost as if you, you're, you're keeping running, Jen, but you don't need to run anymore. You're okay. In the past, with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, you couldn't move, you couldn't do anything because you were waiting for money to come in. Somehow, this is a really big deal for you. I mean, this could be a company that just didn't pay you what you should have been paid. It could be a settlement of some kind. It could be money from a property. There was a big delay financially. You couldn't actually afford to get out of a situation because you were waiting for financial um, support. So you sat in the King of Wands for quite a while. 
I want to take action. I'm pretty fired up, but I know I can't. Frustration, building, 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 building. You could have dealt, Gemini, with someone who was very, very difficult to deal with. Somebody who wanted things all their own way. Somebody who would not behave with integrity. Somebody who took advantage of you. Possibly a fire sign. Or this is you. In your thoughts, six of wands in reverse, you're sitting in a lot of victim mentality in the nicest sense. And I love you guys. This could be you feeling a failure. I didn't manage to hold on to that relationship. I didn't manage to start my own business. I didn't manage to be successful in that company. You're feeling raw, stripped to the bone. You're feeling raw. You don't feel very good about yourself. But the mask is off, Gemini. You don't need to pretend to anyone anymore that you're good because you were absolutely not good. Pray. People taking from you, controlling you, tying you to situations you didn't want to be in. People telling you how to live your life. You felt as if you were being taken from all the time. Now the mask is off and you may feel a sense of failure. You may feel very emotional at this time, fragile. You may want to just hold yourself up. I don't think you want anyone around you. For the person I'm dealing with, for the energy that I'm connecting to, this is you. Could just be I'm channeling one person. There's a sense of you needing to build up your self-esteem and your confidence because something knocked the wind out of your sails, Gem. And this is why you don't need to try and push forward because you're just not ready. Michael, when have we got the Six of Swords in the immediate future? Third to the Sixth of October. Okay. You're looking back at the past, Gemini. You're still looking back at the past. This is you feeling nostalgic. This is you going over those experiences. You need to calmly, slowly put one step in front of the other and just move forward. You don't need to rush, right? You don't need to panic and think, oh God, I've just got to keep going. I've got to get out of here. I've got to keep moving in the other direction. No, you can stay still, but emotionally put one step in front of the other. It's okay to keep looking back at the past. Everyone has memories. We have experiences in our life for our souls to grow, having learned all the lessons to be pure enough to return to the divine. That is why we are here on earth to live in the human experience. You've learned all the lessons you need to learn, Gemini. But rather than sitting in the past, oh gosh, that happened to me, that happened to me, this person did this, this person did that, I feel really guilty because I did X, Y, Z. Don't go over things in your mind, Gemini. You're an air sign. You're going to be prone to do that. But you also do need to put pressure on yourself to rush forward in a new direction when you're just not ready. So simply coast, heal, rather than sitting too much in your head, get into a pattern, a schedule in your day to day life where you do things that please you. Simple things, go to a farmer's market, get out into the sunshine if you can, go for a walk in the woods, play music, watch a funny film, but don't sit in your head. Because I think you want to get rid of some of these thoughts that are circling around your head. And it's almost as if you are physically home free, but you are mentally, emotionally still there. You are free, Gem. But if you constantly keep these thoughts in your mind, you're going to find it more and more difficult to take the next step forward. You have someone protecting you. You have someone helping you. We have the emperor. This could be anyone Again, a mentor, someone that you look up to, somebody that you work with, a father figure, a boss who has been through it all themselves. They have a lot of life experience. They're there to help you. 
You have someone right behind you helping you. Now, if we look at this from a different perspective, you may also be wanting to move towards someone who already sees you as an emperor. Not because you have fancy clothes on, not because you're wearing a crown, Gemini. And this is very emotional for one of you out there, I'm hearing. Not because of what you look like, the image you portray to everybody else externally. They see you as the emperor because of what you've learned, of what you've coped with, of what you've managed to deal with. Your strength, your resilience in getting out of whatever this was, that makes you the emperor. Not what you look like on the outside. Your internal soul has expanded, grown, purified. You've ascended. That makes you the emperor. You could be a homeless man on the street wearing a sackcloth. But you could be intensely connected to the divine. That makes that man an emperor. They see you as an emperor. And you can spread your wings and fly, Gemini, but you still see yourself as that mouse. You still see yourself as prey. You're not anymore. No one's going to get you anymore, Gemini. I feel as if the divine is celebrating ascension for you, getting out of something. That was the round of applause I heard. You've done it. You now need to come to terms with the fact that you've done it and give yourself a pat on the back. What you're fearing, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, fearing of maybe the loss of a lump sum of money, sure. Everyone goes through that. Everyone. Job loss, poverty. Everyone's been through it. But you learn from that. You learn not to take anything for granted. What you're hoping for is to move maybe into the energy of the Empress. You've learned, you've ascended, you're now bringing things to fruition in your life. You're embracing change. You're ready. This is a confident individual. Very wise. Powerful. For some of you male Geminis, you're hoping to move towards an empress. They already see you as an emperor because of what you have coped with. So this is you needing to boost your self-confidence and your self-esteem. The final door that's going to be closing, I feel, is in the form of the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Yes, some of you, this is signing on the dotted line, ending a marriage that was really stressful for you. For some of you, handing in your notice in HR, never want to work in this company ever again. For some of you, maybe you've lost a property. Maybe you had to let something go that was very painful for you. This is your stability. What am I going to do now without my house? You'll survive, Gem. You've gone through enough already. That's the final door that's going to close. We have healing. Yes, you've lost faith, maybe in yourself, in a situation. You could have ended up losing a job, moved out of a company, ended a marriage. You're not quite home free in terms of your energy. You feel you need to move into the energy of the fool. Okay, oh, great, I'm free, I'm free. I've got to make the most of this. I've got to now quickly move forward. You're not ready, Gemini. You're not ready. For some of you, simply, you possibly ended things with an Aries, a Sagittarius or a Taurus. But you're, you're not quite there. You haven't got your love of life back. You haven't got your self-confidence back. You're not quite there. Give yourself a bit more time. You've got someone here protecting you, looking after you, making sure that you're going to be okay. You've got support. If this is someone who sees you as the emperor, they know that at this point of time, you need to heal. You need to get back to you again. So they're going to be patiently waiting. Clarification. 
Queen of Wands in reverse. For some of you girls out there, this was a very taxing situation. You lost your self-confidence. This person maybe belittled you, made you feel very unattractive. Lowered your self-esteem to the point where you were broken inside. You need to get you back. I'm putting it in the upright. This is you knowing it wasn't you. It was the other person who had issues and they took it all out on you. And this is you understanding it. What are you understanding, Gemini, is that you are the magician. This is your Gemini card. You're manifesting a new start, a new life, a new situation. You know how powerful you are now. For some of you with a high priestess in reverse next to the world, there's someone that you haven't spoken to or connected to in a long time, could be a Pisces, that you're wanting to reach out to, but you're not ready. You're not quite strong enough to do it. It's on your mind, you'll do it, but not quite yet. The high priestess in reverse it is also coming out of fantasy land and you will be communicating with someone. What you'll be communicating, Gemini, is that you are nearly home free. You've nearly closed out a cycle that was difficult. It may be that you're communicating with somebody that you want to see them, but you can't actually travel to see them at the moment. Okay. Gemini. This has been a very powerful reading for you. I am going to leave it there. I think this may touch several of you in different situations, in different ways. But I hope it's helped. If this is your story, do reach out and we can see where this goes for you. We can book in a reading and see what may transpire in the future. Whoever this is, I'm sending love and light your way. You will close that final door and you will be totally home free. Take care, Gem. Bye now.